Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about oxidation of alpha oxidation of fatty acid. Alpha oxidation of fatty acid most commonly occurs in endoplasmic reticulum and peroxisomes. Removal, see, in, there is alpha carbon. So from the alpha carbon, there is removal of one carbon at a time occurs from the alpha carbon. And for oxidation of branch chain fatty acid, we will remove one methyl group at branched points at a time. And in the alpha oxidation of fatty acid, there is no consumption or no generation of ATP. ATP are not consumed, they are not generated at all. This alpha oxidation of fatty acid does not require activation. This is this alpha oxidation is used for oxidation of phytanic acid, which is a major dietary methylated fatty acid in dairy products. Then when whenever there is defect in the alpha oxidation of fatty acid, especially phytanic acid def defect. This will lead to increased phytanic acid which causes a syndrome called as Refsum syndrome. In Refsum syndrome, there is increased phytanic acid because of problem in oxidation of fatty acid, alpha oxidation of fatty acid. So in this Refsum syndrome, there is development of retinitis pigmentosa leading to impaired vision. The patient can develop ichthyosis and peripheral neuropathy is seen in the patients. Sometimes you will also see cardiac arrhythmia, sorry, cardiac arrhythmias being seen in these patients with Refsum's disease. So because this phytanic acid is present in dairy products, so you should restrict the dairy products in uh, Refsum's disease and you should ask the patient to restrict dairy products and also green leafy vegetables because green leafy vegetables also contains this Refsum's disease sorry this phytanic acid we should restrict intake of green leafy vegetables also so this is about alpha oxidation of fatty acid thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you